are <laughs> back. I'm going to be um, continuing where we left off on the Ghostbusters game for the <laughs> all the Halloween games I'm going to be doing for the YouTube channel. This was recorded in September. <laughs> Again, we're starting a little bit early because I plan early. I'm smart <laughs> like that. Joining me is Super Sprite. Hey, Sprite. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> hey. Uh, we were gonna play Payday 3, me and Matt and Max, but the game is having some difficulties right now. It doesn't make sense to really bring that up, because by the time this goes up, Payday 3 will probably be working by then, so it's like... Ooh, from the past into the future. Alright, here we go. Alright, resume career. Oh, they fixed the... It did the thing get, the controls are fixed now, it's just back and select. Oh my god, alright. May want to say button one and two, like it did last time. Yeah. Oh man. So, let's see. We got this game that I want to play. We got the Evil Dead game. We got, um, because I want to return to the Evil Dead game. Zack is looking to reinstall Phasmophobia. That's another game we got to get into. Cryptic's been wanting to play that for a while with his new, uh, Oh, thank God. It's so... It, wow. I must have added the controller in a weird way because now it's showing the PS4 icons. Like, oh, thank God. Oh, that was, <laughs> that was a lot harder to do last time. Because you remember the last time I played, this was like button one, button two, button six, button Jeez. five. Yeah, I was like... I was like, bruh. But, um, yeah, we got a lot of games planned. Uh, we got two SCP games, too. Uh, one is in uh, VR. Uh, there's like two of those. There's like a multiplayer SCP game, and then there's an SCP uh, VR game that Vendors are recommended to us that we're going to try out, or hope to try out. You can never confirm these things, because it's like, you never know, plans may change. But, uh... Um, right. Alright, let's see here. Does this affect everything? Right. Yeah, it looks like you... There we go. Raise the flying up the chest. So yeah, I, I decided to like um, do this early this time because um, I'm a bit more free. Cool, cool. What you got going? Um, <clears throat> nothing much. Um, <clears throat> just been um. Hello, Ghostbusters. Working on art. Yes. I want to see you draw me playing. I don't think so. If I had the money, I would commission you. <laughs> no, it didn't just stop working, and it doesn't I know. just need toner. It literally exploded after it screamed obscenities at me. <laughs> Wait, the toner actually no, became... No, I don't think the nature of our business has anything at all to do with whether or not you honor your product's warranty. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like you said, like, the toner uh -huh. got possessed. So what you're telling me is that none of your other copiers that you've sold throughout the entire world have screamed and exploded before breaking down? Uh -huh. <laughs> Sir, I have to tell you, I find that very hard to believe. The toners yell at the people. They are people. willing to believe you. <laughs> I wasn't born yet. <laughs> no. Is that someone on the, the couch? Uh, <clears throat> someone on no, the on the other side where... Yeah, like where Belma is. <laughs> it's Janine. Right. Oh, oh yeah, it's. I think that's Peter. I think that's Peter. There we go. <laughs> He's just. We're not. If that's Peter or. I can't tell because like the brightness thing is too. I think that's Peter. Like he just passed out. <laughs> <laughs> fucking t copying machines exploding though. That's fucking wild. That's yeah. Weird. All right, so I think I have to go up here. Cool. <clears throat> well, it's a great read, but nothing about that. I know that symbol. How? It shows up sometimes in Sumerian ritual magic. There's a statue on loan at the museum that features it. What does it represent? Just a symbol. Signifies a path to obtain great power. Most of my colleagues assume it's an old constellation. No constellation I ever saw. And I used to tell fortunes on Coney Island. Is that right? Did you wear a turban? <laughs> no, man. A red velvet cape with moons. It was plush. 
Ooh, what's this? Plus. The codex does indicate there is some kind of feeder system required to channel energy to a destructor form. A destructor form? Like Stay Puft? It's entirely possible that system and this pattern are connected. It's possible. Wait, you said the Gozerian statuary at the museum is on loan. From whom? Evo Shandor, the architect. Well, the Shandor Foundation. They control Shandor's remaining estate and holdings. Evo is a big collector of Gozerian artifacts. By Evo Shandor, the architect, you mean Evo Shandor, the genocidal maniac, right? That's what I was researching when Gozer attacked me. Shandor's architecture firm was involved in a number of projects around town in the late 18, early 1900s. Including Dana Barrett's old building on Central Park West. You mean the one with the extra-dimensional antenna that drew Gozer to our world so he could attempt to destroy it? Something about those head yeah, bobbings nice during the animations just yeah, looks yeah. really <laughs> silly to me. On existing yeah, like and like how the eyes just like constantly blink. blink. There was yeah. <laughs> because a lot of people thought the work was unnecessary. Let me guess. He did some <laughs> renovations on the public library building on Fifth. Right. Nice teeth, Winston. And the of natural history. <laughs> Recent visitations, specific localized paranormal activity, singing Vikings. They're all connected to Oops. Shandor. And this <laughs> singing Vikings, I remember. Oh, God, those were a chore. Those were a chore to fight with the... Uh, oh, shit, my eyes just exploded. She's, <laughs> she's literally slouching. Look at her. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, I think I get dust. Oh, God, I got dust in my eye. What the fuck? <laughs> just walking up to her hurts me. Ah. Because <laughs> I got the fan on beside me, I feel like I got like dust in my eye. Egon, our new boss, called again. Please don't call him that. Just Peck. That's bad enough. Peck called again. He's not happy. He says that if you guys fire just one more unauthorized proton stream, he'll shut us down for good. <laughs> well, tell him he can go fuck it. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I still think it's funny that this this sound gets made when you just walk up to a chair. It's like, ugh, ah, eh. Hey, like whole explosion happened. Yeah, it's just, what's up with the sound? It's like, yeah. Ray, how Man. do I sit down? Ray, how do I sit, I think I'm possessed, Ray. How do I sit down in the chair? Man, I'm, I imagine it's it like, you know, someone mod at the game where you can like literally treat everything like a rag doll. And it'll make those fizz, make those sounds. You have 13 new oh, here we go. I remember this part. Excuse me, you're getting paid to catch goats, not to blow the place to bits. Hey. <laughs> you have 12 new. Our job's messages. very seriously here. <laughs> some sort of poltergeist. It keeps taking pictures of her coming out of the shower and <laughs> mailing them to me. Uh, this needs to stop. <laughs> what the uh, fuck? Uh, three months to a year at the absolute latest. <laughs> what sounds the... like it, sound, it sounds like McFly's dad to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have I ever showed you the photo of my dad? <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hello? I'm gonna need you to come and remove the ghost of my husband in about 20 minutes if he doesn't haul his lumpy keister off the couch. He'll be easy to recognize. It's the fat, lazy ghost that's not cutting the grass for the third weekend in a row. Shut up! Oh, and he's gonna have a table lamp sticking out of his head. <laughs> what the fuck? I love this. <laughs> you have 10 new messages. This is Mr. Schlechter at the public library. Who do we contact to remove the black goo from all over our break room? Please get back to us soon. It seems to be talking to us, and we think it's stealing money from the vending machines. <laughs> also, Mr. Stan still has a number of books checked out that are overdue. The current fine is $417.42. Please. Damn it, Ray. We just want them back. <laughs> God damn, Ray. <laughs> you have nine new messages. Hey, hey, guys. I was there in front of the library when you went in. D did you see me? I was I was waving at you. Did you see me waving, bro? I was wearing a sweet blue sweater. Did you guys 
obsessed fan. I guess um, Cool Cat is the fan of the Ghostbusters. Yeah, it's Cool Cat. <laughs> Sticky paper to lay down? Sticky paper to lay down? What the fuck? Alright. You have seven new messages. Hi, this is Edwin Dimash. I'm the general manager over here at the Sultan Suites, uh, right down the street from the from the Sedgwick Hotel. We just want to thank you, gents, for your work over there. You guys must have done a real number on them. Our business has, uh, <laughs> has quadrupled overnight. Uh, listen, come on over sometime for dinner and drinks uh, on the house. And go ahead and leave your backpacks of destruction at home, though, okay? <laughs> backpacks of destruction, all right. <laughs> you have six new messages. Dr. Spangler, this is James from We Ship It. Listen, you got to come down and pick up this package of Carpathian Dunbach mold we've been holding for you. It started to spread. It's taken over half the loading docks, and I... I, I think it's singing. <laughs> I think it's singing. You have five new messages. Hi, this is Ed again. Uh, I haven't heard back from you, so so I thought I'd just check in. Hello? Alright, well, uh, since I last called, I made my own protein, uh, what did it, uh, I made my own proton pack out of some car batteries and wires. Oh, God. I didn't get you any ghosts with you, <laughs> but I don't need to be worried about those pesky gophers in my confrontation will work. I have pictures if you want me to send them. All right, get back to me, pesky plumbers. It sounds, it sounds like Ernest P. Worrell. Like, hey, Vern, I made myself a proton pack, you heard? <laughs> <laughs> Andy Dyson, I'm the super over at that 1412 Lex. I got a toilet screaming in 9B, belching sofa in 9A, a uh, teddy bear with turrets in 11E. E. Let me see. Uh, a teddy bear with turrets? In 12C. You got a bulk rate? A belching sofa and a singing toilet and a teddy bear with turrets. Oh, not a good combo. Three new <laughs> yeah, Dr. Bankman. About that. Some you still owe. It is sad when your pony doesn't run. Believe me, I know. Still, unlike the horse in question, you have such a wonderful pair of functioning legs. Walk, walk, walk. They're great. Oh, God, Mafia. If anything sudden or blunt to happen to them. Oh, he got hooked up with the you fucking the mafia. What the fuck? Ow. You got such a nice pair of walking legs, Peter. Hey, Peter. Peter. Hello. There's blood dripping from my fireplace since, I don't know, last Christmas. If you weren't available before the holidays, can you recommend a good chimney sweep? Jesus. It's the Ghost of Santa watch. It's fucking Ghost of Santa. You have one new messages. Help! There's a man. He's gonna jump from the ledge. I called the fire department. You guys should really get here fast in case they don't make it in time. <laughs> what? Um, <laughs> oh, no. That's, 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 that's more of 911's job. That's really depressing. The way he ended it, too, is like, oh, you get. Oh, okay. Let's huh. see. I know there's, like, the stuff you take pictures of, too. They start showing up in the. I can actually talk to them? Alright. I find, like, the PS3 <laughs> one, you can actually talk to them and, like, interact. Look at Peter. He's just standing there, dead inside. Just his legs just spread out. I think Bill Murray's dead, guys. Like, oh wait, no, here he is. He's still alive. Are you still there, Peter? Can, can you see me? How many fingers am I holding now? 
Well, yeah, some of these are the stuff I took photos of, like, uh... A haunted red phone. I know there was one that was, like, haunted hippie pants or something like that. It would, it would chase me, like, around this area or something. I'm trying to remember what it was. <clears throat> yeah, there's, like, uh, stuff you can take photos of with, like, the PKA meter. And I know one of them was, like... Haunted hippie pants, or like the little Groucho mar Marks, like head or whatever, or not uh, like glasses and a mustache, or something like that. Yeah, we what? should warn the mayor. I don't know. He's likely to just sick peck on us even more. You should get a closer look at the museum. Well, the mayor's gonna be at the museum for the exhibitioning opening gala tonight. It's where I need to be too. Phyllisa, you sure make work fun for me. Is business casual okay? I don't have a tux. Are you kidding? He doesn't want you guys within three city blocks of the museum tonight. He thinks you make his campaign contributors nervous. Besides, that pet guy will be at the party, too. Okay, Egon will stay here and finish analyzing the data from the library. The rest of us will go in by the service entrance of the museum and lay low. Peter can attend the party as Alyssa's guest and stay in plain sight of Peck. And that frees us up to check out the rest of the building. I love this plan. It's just dull enough to work. Bill? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna bring you a corsage. <laughs> yes, we just arrived at the loading dock. Keep Peck distracted. We're gonna poke around. Okay, I'll take one for the team. There you go, it's working now. No sign of the curator. Alyssa told me he'd meet us right here. We get familiar with the controls. Oh. I keep pressing. Something wanted out of this box in a big way. Watch out, black slime. Uh, Unchecked, can eventually open a full interdimensional portal. Open uh, doorway. Damn it, Anything that wants to can come through. If a full portal has been opened, there it has to be sealed using your slime blower. That's the key reason we developed that tech. Alright, so hit it with the slime blower. I'm hitting it with the green goo. It's so good. <laughs> Door sealed shut. Somebody find the power. I mean, we can always blast our way through. I like the more direct approach. Okay, that's not working. <laughs> I'm surprised it didn't even like leave a mark on it. Yeah. Okay, those won't. There it is. Blow it up. Blow it up. Chaos. <laughs> There we go, that's how you do it. Good work, Eagle Eye. Look at this. Something's trailed packing material down the hall here. Packing material and slime. I keep, why do I keep, I keep hitting this stupid wrong? I always thought, I'm stupid, I keep hitting the wrong button. Not scary at all. <laughs> oh my god, it's the animatronics for Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh shit. Out of my way, dude. Oh, green really suits you, dude. <laughs> Detail actually, yeah. You can actually put them on the, the Ghostbusters. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think we got. Oh. Oh 
Was that a possessor? Maybe. Damn it, all weapon again. Didn't we used to fight class twos and threes every now and then? What happened to them? They were easy. Ah, the good old days. I'm more worried that she'll stir things up around here. I expect we'll see her again sooner than we want to. It's ooze simulator. It's like power wash, <laughs> power wash simulator, but with green ooze, and green slime. Man, if there was a game just that, it'd be really cool. <laughs> that would be cool. I thought they, I thought they would have that already. Maybe they did. I don't, I don't know it. Yeah. I don't think I have to, like, slime every... Oop. Hello? Who's in there? Oh, that was a ritual. Somebody that wants out is who? Well, that was a ritual mask, apparently. Ritual mask of bad advice? <laughs> <laughs> niece of... Leslie Camel, niece of Archaeologist Professor Gordon Camel, we see the... Exactly a ritual mask of bad advice and package from her uncle. It was the last anyone ever heard from him. In the package was a cryptic note. Don't listen. But eventually she did. Oh no. That sounds like something I would have. Let's see. Oh. Featherwell's stalking chair. 1976. Nate Featherwell, aspiring ventriloquist, had big dreams but not much talent. He spent his life savings on a charm for voodoo priestess. When used correctly, the spell would bring wood to life. Nate hoped he would use the charm as dummy. Smuggy, but accidentally worked his spell on the chair he sat on instead. <laughs> the chair, alive but ignored, grew jealous of the attention Featherwell lavished on the inanimate Smuggy and did away with them both in a rage-fueled wood chipper accident. The chair slipped away unnoticed and remains at large this very day. Oh my god. <clears throat> the Reluctant re Reading Lab. Celebrated novelist Arthur Houston re conceived and conducted research on new books at the library table. Under this lamp, oh, for over 30 years, yeah, uh, severe writer's block gripped him in his 60s and wouldn't let go. Houston's psychic frustration channeled with the lamp and resides there now, refusing to let anyone read under its light. <laughs> wow. Let's see. Uh, what else we got? Seat of Vapors Fowl. Originally owned by self-proclaimed wizard and prankster, Franklin Laffy Worst. Wor <laughs> Laffy Worst. <laughs> worst felt that the famous whoopee cushion gag, while amusing, needed an update. He supposedly summoned the sub-demon. That's never a good idea. <laughs> and bound it to the chair. Then invited obnoxious dinner guests to have a seat. To their eventual horror and embarrassment, Worst was shot and killed by a particularly temperamental victim. <laughs> oh, jeez. The Enchanted Pale. Sorry, I gotta see. Some of these are pretty funny, not gonna lie. Magician Angelo Galano had an older brother, Ronald, who was said to be an even more talented magician than Angelo. Ronald wasn't too good with audiences, though, so he took up construction work when he couldn't get regular stage work. Let's see. There are only five production models of Teleco's red phone ever made. It's rumored that the phone only completed calls for those about to die. Ooh. <clears throat> the Ravishing Red Prince. Painted by the famed Madman of the Hague, Remco de Groot. De Groot was in face for supposedly using his own blood and the blood of others to construct his modernist masterpieces. This was later proven just a wild rumor forever, however. <laughs> Obviously, yeah, just a rumor. <laughs> Midnight Goose. The fabled bottomless bottle of the three toed Jenkins. The notoriously unrepentant tramp that rode the rails in the 30s and 40s. The legend goes that he was called Speedy Jenkins before he exchanged something dear to him for a bottle of cough syrup that never runs dry. The haunted portrait of Sir, uh, George uh, Godfrey Sedgwick. Many thought it would be strange that someone who detested people so thoroughly would open up a business where many were invited to come. <laughs> the Gustav self-service tray. 
Fine, sil fine silver service set purchased from the lot from famed Australian Hotel de Gustav after it mysteriously burned down. This is the only piece from the set known to appear at the Cedric rooms, unbidden and unaccompanied. Frightened guests are often unsure as to the proper gratuity of the at this service. That's pretty cool. I like I, I like that. I like reading those. Hey, cadet, get in here and clear this off, please. I'm just gonna Be keep ready, throwing the trap because I'm an idiot. Possessors and, and are tricky and powerful. <laughs> Oh, I think we are going to like. Oh, Dr. Rutherford. Uh, Z, meet the assistant curator of the museum. Is that horrible, terrible thing gone? Yeah, she's gone. You good? I, uh, yes, I suppose so. I'm a big fan. I was, like, destroying I shit in the background. My daughter's birthday a couple years ago. Is that so? Well, I think we can get you up. Or a button or a mug or a t shirt or something like that. All of that would be wonderful. Follow me. We'll go through the restoration department. All of these things suck. They need to be destroyed. Oh. No, let me have fun. There it is again. Don't let it get me. Don't you worry. You'll have to go through me first. Not a color war. What's even happening? The cutscene looks janky. Ah. Whoa. What happened to Rene? <laughs> Help him? Hold him down, young blood. Oh, wrong guy. Uh, wrong one. Sorry. Yeah, you know, celebrate. Yeah. Party yeah. celebration yeah. with Nickelodeon slime. Here we go. Yeah. Will he be okay? <laughs> How you doing, Ray? How's the buzzer? How's the buzzer? Buzzer was this. Oh, he'll be fine in a second. <laughs> After you. Oh no! If this place is possessed by a. Hey, Winston! You won the Nickelodeon the Choice Awards. We found the curator. <laughs> We're all the way to the go-to exhibit now. Oh. No fun. Kick me out. Oh, no. There's so much to show you. <laughs> He's still the slanted story. the cutscene. Things have been very strange since they started setting oh, up Oh, he cleaned up. <sighs> well, hello there. Dig it, Peter. Ray got possessed again. Ah, Z. You'll have to go through me first. <laughs> That's exactly what he said. Just like a puppy. Every day's the first day. That was an abrupt transition. What happened to the audio? No, no, no! I want the Ghostbusters no. ejected from this facility immediately! Where's his honor, Pecker? We've got news for him and a photo op. The mayor is indisposed right now. Anything you need to tell him goes through me. Not happening, Peckaby. This is for Jock and Jock alone. We will wait for him to get redisposal. Security, remove these men with excessive force. Uh, boys? Oh, shit. <laughs> Why do the good ones always play hard to get? What in the hell is going on here? I never got him. What the fuck? <laughs> that dance, though. More possessor goals. Yeah. Kid, you know what? God, that looks just as bad as Ghostbusters 2016. Oh, I know what oh my god. Hurts, doesn't it? Let it all out. I'll see you all on Rikers Island for this. Whoa, take a break. Do you ever shut up? Does 
More than I expected. They're attacking the guests. No. Get down. What is your obsession with Pittsburgh, Ray? <laughs> Could be trouble. Shooting at Ray, you sound like you're in pain. <laughs> it's like Ray is suffering the oh most God. damage. You guys go after Alyssa. Be careful. I'll get to security. I love this. That looked plan. like I'll that looked like the penguin from Batman. Them on the monitors and talk to <laughs> yeah, it did. See you soon, Ray. <laughs> Let's go, guys. See you soon, guys. Doctor Rutherford, if you will show me to security. Let's see. First, I kind of want to get something over here. Whoa. I don't like this table, it's dumb. <laughs> I, don't like, I don't like that one either, it's stupid. Yeah. I'm so mad I could jump if I could jump with the button. I can't jump. Okay. I don't like that either with these house plants. That yeah. honestly, the best part of Ghostbusters is always the chaos. Yeah. There you go. I fixed the pit. No, <laughs> I fixed it. <laughs> Stop dropping it, I'm stupid. Damn it. Why do I keep instinctively hitting square? I need to stop that. Alright, sorry about that. I don't know why, I keep thinking that the trap thing is on square. Get me here. I don't think that guy's planning to be nice to us. It's a mannequin ambush. Don't bother trying to capture it. Just blast them down to nothing. Oh. Oh my god, is he dead? He's dead! I killed him! No! Winston, no, don't die! We gotta save no. Winston! Winston, no! Oh. <laughs> I thought that was another Ghostbuster. Uh, I thought there was another dead Ghostbuster. No, I don't want to kill. That was safe. We gotta protect Winston at all costs. That was nowhere near fatal. I don't like that face. It's dumb. I destroyed the smiley face. Yeah, I'll clear up the path. God, these fucking physics are hilarious. You okay, like Winston? Mod. Here, let me let me uh, let me clean you up, Winston. Here, give you a nice shower. There you go. 
Yeah, Nickelodeon Green Slime, you're good to go, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Please preserve our display without touching them. Where do we go? I like how I like how it's just the photo of the Civil War and then just that at the top corner, like the Civil War. <laughs> the Civil War. <laughs> the Civil War. <laughs> the Civil War. <laughs> <laughs> you just have rope. Yeah. Rome. Just Let's rope. make some noise. <laughs> Hurry up before they get away. Take it to the bridge. Did Winston just say take it to the bridge? What are you guys doing down there? You were funny jokes. More <laughs> getting to the security camera, please, Ray. <laughs> Ah, no! Oh, shit! Destroy everything! Peter! Oh, my God! Oh, he got away! Oh, no! No, Peter! No! Get to the temple! The glowing one! I'll save you guys! Oh god. in here. Oh. That only cost thirteen dollars? Damn. <laughs> I was gonna say that <laughs> that Mayan thing was only thirteen bucks? That must have been cheap. I just heard something about cannibalism. Oh. Go bad. Sorry, Mayans. Uh... I love history. Drinks also... everything history related. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> I'm learner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Replaceable, right? I mean, you know. You know. You could just make new bolts with them. What the? <laughs> he was just 
fucks there. <laughs> Decorating. Hittite, Mennonite, Phoenician, Babylonian, Assyrian, Mesopotamian, Sumerian. Ah, he's making it all up. Just one of those things. Ah, you pick this step up. Just using the bomb. It's a fixer upper. You know, we'll, we'll figure it out. Eh. Peter, come in. <clears throat> Hi, honey. How was your day? Man, we've reached the security office. <laughs> this one is a shambles. It's been sabotaged. Black slime all over the place. Only a few of the cameras are still working. When you're free, no rush. Open gate 3487. Just for kick. Give me a minute. We're under attack. We'll get back Rain. to you. Stay away from any possessions. Um, Dr. Rutherford, if you're still there, what? can you go catch Dr. Stance, please? Okay, I shook off that possessor. I found a different security room. Can't find Dr. Rutherford. Oh, I remember you this. You're not pretty when you're possessed, Ray. Seriously. I've got you on the cameras. You should be coming to the Civil War exhibit. Melissa just passed through there. Okay, we're on it. Thanks. I'm getting a lot of money for this. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. $61,000 for poverty damage you know, of old Civil War artifacts. And the other one? The soldiers in this one have guns. Let's just take care. We can't be too careful, guys. Destroy everything in the room. <laughs> <laughs> they all might become possessed. Oh god, Zach would be killing me right now. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye to history, Zach. <laughs> so, I imagine this would like what every Twitter user would want to do, is like, ah, oh, history sucks. Ooh, I'm yeah. kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Why someone out there is like, yeah, keep going. Let's just pass through here. <laughs> the as we can. And, yeah, I didn't really think we could do it. Just thinking happy thoughts. Oh no. They saw what I, what I was doing. The history goes are after you. Oh no. They're having a war in the civil war. Couldn't have been the American Revolutionary War, could it? Or the War on Roses. Even the War on Drugs. It just had to be The this War one. on Drugs, he says. It's like I'm doing a lot of the work. Yeah. <laughs> it's like they're shooting at nothing. Wish this crap had a window. Yeah, who are they shoot? Like wow, they suck the jobs. I'm doing all the workload. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, it looked like they were doing it earlier. Like, when, there we go. At least he's got the right. Bring him back. Oh, I want him. I want him. Oh, shit. Okay, now. Get a scan. I don't want a scan. I want to kill him. I want to get him. Fine. Here they come. Oh. They should have like a multiplayer game of this. Don't mess with me, they man. used to. 
I don't think they didn't add it back for this release though. Like, unless you want, unless you want to play. Um, they also they do they do have Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed though. If you ever want to play that. I have that one on uh, PS4. Incoming! I know there was an accident, right? Here they come. Here they come. Here they come. <laughs> I heard that one in Pittsburgh. You play hardball, Rook. Who shot you? Oh, there it is over there. That's right. Grab a full scan. I ain't got time for scans, boy. I ain't got time for scans. I gotta. That's what approved. You play hardball, Rook. You playing hardball, Rook? Yeah, I play hardball. I ain't, I ain't got time to learn. Run! I heard it from Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> the most quoted ray line in the game. Come on, get. I got see you guys fight it out inside that tiny little trap. Yep, they took some casualties. Exit? Oh no, I was just there. Uh, <clears throat> oh, pfft. okay. You still hear the hey, glass shattering in the background. Can we move out of here? Ow! That was that was. <laughs> Ow! 